I don't know what number like supporting the theories I would be comfortable with or you should be comfortable with. But I will say that the ones they found, I'm not. So of those surveyed, 17.9% of Air Force veterans, 17.4% of Marine Corps veterans answered that they completely or mostly agree with the QAnon conspiracy theory. That's right about slightly higher than the public at large. One would hope that it would either be the same as the public at large, or maybe there would be something about you being the sort of person that has been given the duty, responsibility, and training to defend our nation, that you would be more critical in the way that you think about these things. But unfortunately, it's not what this shows. Um, that's QAnon. On uh, the Great Replacement Survey, let's see, you have. Uh, They asked a group of people in this country trying to replace native born Americans with immigrants and people of color who share their political views. 39.4% of Marine Corps veterans, 30% effectively of Navy, 30% of Air Force, 26% of Army believe that. That is several percentage points higher than the general population. They believe that they're, but bear in mind, to believe any of this, you have to believe that there is this cabal in charge of everything that makes decisions like who is going to be in the country, who is going to be able to be a voter, that sort of thing. They apparently do believe that, and they believe that they're being replaced. Again, they'll never define what replaced is supposed to mean. Where are the white people going? It's just more people, they're not being replaced, but. Those are the numbers, what do you think? I'm, I'm trying to fix my mic. I think folks are just so monumentally bored. And they have such a monumental amount of imagination. And yeah. I think it's fine to believe in this stuff. Like I believe in aliens and ghosts and all this stuff. As long as you're not going to be have your, your hand, which might be on the levers of power, influenced by this Actual belief that Hillary Clinton is drinking baby unicorn blood or whatever. <laughs> like, like Voldemort. We trust tons of people who believe that like God magic humped a Jewish 14 year old and she had a baby in a barn and he saved your life. So you can live for forever and eternity. People walk around, billions of people walk around believing that all day. Billions I mean, of people walked around being people. like, yo, so this guy just ascended to heaven. And that's it, but don't draw his picture. Billions of people believe in some pretty outlandish stuff. Yeah. But like the fundamentals of this country in particular are that those weird ass beliefs that are mythical in nature, much like Hillary Clinton and cosmic pizza and unicorn blood, those things cannot, must not affect how you run the country. Yeah. And it's fine, everyone goes on, I believe in the Greek and Roman gods because they're so goddamn fun. They are. I'm they not are. going to use that to say that I get to dress as a swan and rape people. Yeah, you can do the first half of that if you want. All day. There's probably a very high chance that you have at some point. But if they but sell that costume at Target, they're gonna get it banned. Yeah. 100%. Um, Anyway, uh, the issue is that this stuff doesn't necessarily directly pose any kind of threat, believing a crazy thing. I think that it eventually does, but it doesn't necessarily. Um, But the the poll also found that when it comes to political violence defined as, uh, quote, because things have gotten so far off track, true American patriots may have to resort to violence in order to save our country. 27.9% of Marine vets, almost 21% of Navy vets, 16.4% of Air Force vets and 14.1% of Army vets agree with that. The mainstream, mainstream America, they just mean most Americans, it's at 19%, which is obviously way too high. Those numbers for any of the groups are too high. It is amazing how different they are though. The Marines that were polled were twice as likely as the members of the Army to support that. And that is fascinating and also much scarier because these people have training. These people might have weapons. And they believe that oh, things are off track in some vague way. So I guess we gotta start shooting people potentially. It doesn't mean that they will, but it means that they might be predisposed to be okay with it if it does happen. <laughs>